You can set the grid resolution in your pad's workspace by using the Tools menu. Select Tools, Options, then under the Grids and Snap category, select the Grids page. The Grids page provides settings for several workspace grids. The Design Grid, for example, affects the resolution of component placement. The Via Grid affects the resolution of Via placement. The Fanout Grid settings pass directly to Pads Router for use with Fanout Via placement. And the Display Grid affects the visible dotted grid in the workspace. Make the X and Y values smaller or larger to change the grid spacing. For this example, we'll change the display grid settings from 100 to 10. Note that the display grid seems to disappear when we apply these changes. Changing the display grid setting to a smaller interval does not turn off the grid, but does make it invisible except under high magnification. By zooming in on the empty workspace, we're able to see the display grid once again. You can also use mode list commands to change grid settings. We can change the display grid settings, for example, by typing the mode list command GD500. Note that the display grid settings change to 500. You can change values for other grids using either mode list commands or the options dialog. For example, by typing GV500, we change the via grid to values of 500. If desired, you can also set the X and Y spacing for each grid individually. For instance, by typing the mode list command GV50 space 10, note that the X and Y values change to respective values of 50 and 10.